A local middle schooler winning a statewide competition with her art. The winning piece was made with markers and will be featured on Governor Gretchen Whitmer's State of the State program cover. TV5's Trevor Sahaki spoke with the Hemlock 7th grader to find out where her inspiration came from. The student did like on a piece of wood and is hanging a bunch of kind of like postcards maybe. And it's got our state map, of course, and it says, I believe in Michigan because it's amazing. That's Grace Murtha's drawing Governor Gretchen Whitmer is talking about. It's very hard, but I think, I think this is, is going to be the cover for this year. The Hemlock Middle School's winning piece will be featured on the 2022 State of the State program cover. My dad texted me when I was at school and he told me to call him at lunch, so I called him on speaker at lunch and my friends heard about it the same time I did. Murtha was one of five student finalists across Michigan. About 800 people submitted art for the contest. A handful of students from Hemlock also submitted pieces, but Murtha was the one who was chosen. Murtha has been drawing for as long as she can remember. She's won a couple of other local competitions as well. Rayanne Woodcock is the art teacher at Hemlock. Murtha will soon be in her class. She's got a nice way of movement across the page with the way she's got little twinkle lights and the string. Um, and she's got a really creative way of showing all the different neat aspects of Michigan with the little post-it notes or like little Polaroid camera shots. The theme for this year's contest was, why do you believe in Michigan? Um, I would chose home is where the hand is because Michigan is the only place I think in the world that you can put up your hand and tell where you are. Murtha won a Cherry Republic Go Fish box, including some candy, pretzels, cards, and a water bottle. In Hemlock, Trevor Sahaki, WNEM TV5. And Murtha wasn't the only finalist from here in mid-Michigan. Clara Bonnell, a 10th grader at Mount Pleasant High School, was a runner-up. 